gonna share three very simple ideas for dealing with frustration, bad tone days, and especially tight embouchures. Having tension and tight corners in your embouchure is a really common question and a common occurrence, and sometimes I start a day and I feel a lot of tension there, so these are very simple ideas that I hope help you um, because they seem to help me every day. The first example is something that I frequently run across during my warm-up. I notice that I start to sound airy, especially as I descend into the lower register and I get frustrated, but there's a very simple way to overcome frustration and to reverse the airy sound. If I start to hear a lot of air sounds like this, I might want to stop, but the number one way to relieve frustration when it comes to airy sounds isn't to do all the right things and remember the whole list of how to have a resonant sound. The simple way is to just sound airier. Make your airy sounds amplify. This gives you all the information you need to know about how to sound not airy. If you can figure out how to make it more airy, you can figure out the opposite for how to make it less airy. This also gives you control over all the sounds you're making. You're making friends with the enemy instead of tightening up and getting frustrated trying to avoid airy sounds. Let it in, invite airy sounds in for dinner, get to know them, and you're just in control. <laughs> If I close my teeth more, I get more airy. And if I start angling upward and more to the right, I also get more airy. So to find a less airy sound, I opened the teeth more and I moved the flute angle this way and also with my lip direction. I aimed more down and I was aware of where exactly I'm hitting. My second tip builds on this, finding the angle that's right or finding the sweet spot. Everybody's embouchure is different and we're not all aiming our air in the exact same direction. I have an embouchure that points air this way. Understanding where the air is pointing and what the angle is, is really useful for finding the actual place to put your flute so that you're hitting it at a good spot. This is especially helpful for the low register. I'm gonna finger low G and do breath accents, and I'm going to keep my embouchure but take the flute away, and from there I can feel where is my air pointing. <laughs> I can realize I'm storing more air in my left cheek and the air is pointing more to the left. If I'm trying to be too central here, I'm missing it and it's going to cause the airy sound. If I turn and use my right arm, pushing it forward so that I'm pointing now more on the lip plate, I'm going to get more resonance and I really hear the difference. <laughs> experimenting. You have an issue, it could be a source of frustration and you might want to try harder, or you can use it as information and you can become okay with messy sounds. Then you know for sure exactly where the spot is that you make the most resonant sound. You can hear the difference for yourself and you can feel it. Everyone's embouchure is different. Not everyone's airstream is going to point in the same direction or look the same. So using an experimenting exercise like this and trying out all your options and all your angles 
is the best way to figure out exactly where you are to make your best sound. The final tip is taking the heart and airy sound and using it the whole way through. This is especially helpful if you feel like your embouchure is altogether too tight and you feel very limited, you feel like there are no possibilities, maybe the low register is very difficult. This is the exercise I would recommend. And this might remind you of how you sounded in your first year of playing. So to do this, you let go of absolutely everything in your embouchure. You begin with airy sounds. You might not make any sounds at all. You might be blowing very high and you don't hear notes. <sighs> Then you slowly find the angle of tone, but you remain airy. And then you can slowly start to add in the structure that you need with your embouchure. You're building up from air alone, and your airy sounds should be supported and free blowing and very warm air. Oftentimes when the embouchure is too tight, it comes from having a lack of free blowing air or support. So we're prioritizing air first by getting rid of the embouchure, we're then refining the angle to find the spot of resonance. Finally, we add back the structure and refinement of the embouchure, thinking about the aperture, and from there we can find a great sound. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe if you did, and leave a comment, especially if you have other questions for me to answer. Thanks for watching.